Hello, today I'm going to be showing you some more examples of two by two calculations using some algorithms and some math tricks. Now, I'm going to give you a chance to look at these numbers and then see if you can break them down and get the answer before I reveal it to you. So, what I want you to do is understand that certain numbers have properties that just make it easy for you to get to the answer. For example, if you have anything that you multiply by five, okay, you know that it's going to be like cutting it in half. So if I have if I have 22 times five, you know, I know it's going to be I know it's going to be 110. It's going to be cut in half to 11 and then add a zero. If it's a, a odd number, let's say it was 35, it's not that hard to do as well because I understand that half of 35 would be like um, seven, 17 and a half. Okay, so it's, it's not that hard to, to get the answer by looking at that as the answer. Okay, 175 is not that hard to do. So, what you want to do is when you look at a number and you, you have a, a chance to really figure out if it's an algorithm or is it going to be a math trick, that's what you want to do because that's how it works. When you, see, when you see somebody who is good at anything, they have ways of making it easier for them to do it. So to you, it may seem like, wow, this guy is really intelligent. But in essence, it's a trick that they have done over and over again, which makes up for the, maybe the lack of intelligence, or maybe it's not even needed to be intelligent. It may just appear that way. All right. So let's um, start with this here. Let's say if you have, okay, this is 52 times 41. Okay, now what you want to do here is you always want to start with the left side, okay? And that's how you get it. You don't want to say to yourself, you know, I can't figure it out. You know that anything that is a 5 and an even number is going to be half of that even number. So it's going to be a 2. So your number will start with a 2, no doubt. Okay, so let's just think 2,000. And build upon that. Then you want to do your arch. Okay, so now you have you have five times one is five, and you have two times four is eight. So that's going to be thirteen. You know that it's going to be a two. So you have two one three, and then you know that on the outside it's going to be two times one is two. So it's two one three two. And that's the answer. All right. Now the next one. This one here is going to be 37 times 66. Now, this one has a trick to it because if you have a pair, which is 66, you always add the numbers on the left together. So in this case, it'll be 3 and 7 or 10. So now you just do that multiplication. 10 times 6 is 60. You add that to your left quadrant. So you have 3 times 6 is 18 plus 6. Now, one thing you have to understand, whenever you have an 8 and any number, it always, this is, it always goes up by 1 and down by 2. Okay? So what does that mean? Well, 18 going up by 1 is 20. Down by 2 is going to be, from the, uh, from the 6, will be a 4. Alright? So that's how it works. So it's going to be 24. Okay. So you have 24 as your starting number, you have two zeros on the end. When you have a zero, you simply cover whatever's coming up next. So this time it's going to be 7 times 6 is 42. So it's going to be 24, 42 is your answer. All right. Next one. Again, you see here, this is an easy one because it ends with the number 2. Because 2 times 1 is going to be 2. So what you want to do here is you want to start your algorithm from the left side, okay? So that would be 6 times 9 is 54, so think 5400, and then do your do your um, outside inside arch. So 6 times 1 is 6, and 2 times 9 is 18, so 18 and 6, 24, and you add that to 54. So you add the, the 2 to 54. So it's going to be 5, 6, 4, and then 
two. Five, six, four, two is your answer. All right. That's easy to do. Next one. This one is very easy because there's a great trick that I discovered. This is 45 times 22. What you simply want to do is you want to bring the 45 up double and the 22 in half. So uh, 45 double will be 90 and then half of 22 is 11. So you simply have 90 times 11. And of course, 9 times 11 is 99. So you have a 0 on it. So it's 9, 9, 0. And you're done. So a lot of times when you see when you see problems, they're so easy to break down. It's like wow, that's all. It's, it's always to it. That's all there's to it. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, this one's going to be 48 times 25. Again, you can do the algorithm here. You could start with um, four times two is is uh, eight, which is a single number, and then you can do your arch. You would do um, you would do five to the to the four and the eight to the two, but the point is, this one gives you a nice little trick. Look at 25 as one fourth, so that's going to be a four, and you divide 48 times four. So of course, four goes into four once, goes into eight twice, so it's a 12. And of course, it can't be a 12, can't be 120. It's got to be 1200. Okay, that's the only thing it could be. So that's using a bit of um, trickery you know, using a clever observation and then using logic to make it make sense. So it's going to be 1200. This one here is really easy. Okay, this one here is uh, 71 times 11. There are two ways to handle an 11. Okay, one, you could add numbers together and put it in between. So you could say 7 and 1 or 8 and put that in between. So it's 781 or you could say 7 and 71. Okay, so you add 7 to 71, it's going to be 7, 8, and put the 1 on the end, 7, 8, 1. And why would do the, the, the one where you just add it? Because sometimes you go over base 10. Okay, for example, if this was 79 times 11, you couldn't add um, 7 and 9 and and put the 16 in the middle, okay? So by simply adding the number on the left to the entire number and then taking the number on the right and putting on the end, you always have a number that works and you don't have to go back and check it. Okay. This one here. Now this one is, is easy to do as well. Okay. Two ways to do this. Again, you can use a proper algorithm. And we'll do that one first, okay? You start with 36 and then you do your arch. So you know that you have 6 times 2 is 12 and 6 times 2 is 12 okay because each one goes on to the same number that's 24 so you add the 2 to 36 so it's going to be 3 8 4 and then 2 times 2 is 4 so it's 3 8 4 4 or you can use a uh, clever trick that you run through your sixes and this one you would simply just say the same thing, you would add 2 to 36 and then you would double each number. Okay, so 36 plus 2 is 38 and then um, double, not each number, excuse me, you would you would double the 2 twice. You would say 2 times 2 is 4 and then 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, and it might not make a lot of sense, so I'm not even going to stress that, but that's one way to do it okay so let's pass that one over for now all right um the last one this one is um another number that people have a hard time with they make videos about it and they write books about it it's very easy to do because it's it's based on the principle of looking at the number 98 as it, as it pertains to 100 okay 98 is 2 from 100. So what you want to do, you want to take the 89 and reduce it by 2. Okay, so that'll be 87. Then you want to look at 89 and say how far is it from 100? It's 11. 11 times 2 is 22. That's the second part of your answer. So it's going to be 87, 22. That's very easy to do. Now, again, when you when you do multiplication such as this here, 
you're going to make mistakes. You're going to say the wrong thing. You're going to put the wrong thing down. But if you practice, if you continue to practice, then you know it'll work for you. Okay. So thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Goodbye.